Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Libra. Hey Libra! How you doing Libra? Okay. So we're using Enchanted Dreams by Yasmin Westwood. And for messages, we're using Bird Messages by Susie Green. I tried to do some siege, you know, siege in the cards and just like becoming friends with the cards. And some crystals. Because this is about having balance and, you know, zen in all aspects of life. That's a big thing for me, balance. So, yeah. All right. August 2020. These cards have already been pre-shuffled, but I'm just shuffling a little bit more. Only because, like, they are really, really, really heavy cards, so. so far for August 2020. Six of Cups reversed. say something. Knight of Pentacles. Mm. Upright. Okay. Libra. Please give me some clarity on these three cards here. So far we pulled the Six of Cups. We pulled the Knight of Cups, yep, reversed, and then we pulled the Knight of Pentacles. have so far. If we need to pull more, we will. <sighs> Alright. Libra! We have the Six of Cups reversed. The Six of Cups reversed. The Six of Cups reversed, typically, you know, being nostalgic, longing for that telephone that used to ring in the 70s where you could get it, I guess, in like olive green or whatever, just like nostalgic childhood memories, things connected to your past. Um, so that's typically what Six of Cups is about. However, it is reversed, so that allows me to think that maybe there's something coming up. Okay, some upcoming event that reminds you of childhood memories. Okay, so we're going to look at it so far like maybe you have an event coming up. 
Um, well, it looks like because I'm showing you have the Knight of Cups reversed. That's typically like a, 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 an offer, like a romantic offer, like, oh, would you like to have lunch? Or some communication where a door is going to be open, right? There's going to be an open door. There's going to be some sort of an offer or there has been sort of an offer. Or maybe you thought there was going to be an offer and it turned out, you know, not to be an offer. I mean, this kind of is um, Page of Cups energy. No, Knight of Cups energy. So, Knights. You know, they're kind of in and out, up and down a little bit. But still, I mean, it could involve... Um, it could involve a water sign. It could involve Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, let's see what the next one is about. Because after that, we pulled the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? So... Knight of Pentacles has like a different kind of energy. Knight of Pentacles is one who is a go-getter. They finish what they start. Like right, we're gonna go get this. I'm gonna see this plan through A, B, C, D. You know, and let you know, honestly, if it were if it were reverse, then I would say, okay, you know, maybe this person is is you know stagnant or just not coming along, but they seem pretty they seem pretty upright where if you take a look at, you know, here you have Knight of Swords reversed, so make sure you see that. We then have, we have the Knight of Wands reversed. What's up with all the, in the Knights? You know, well, in this case, like, you know, just like that impulsive type of behavior and Knight of Wands in this case signifies, I believe, a delay of some sort. Okay. And that's, that's, that's Wands. So Wands perhaps has to do with the Sagittarius, the Leos, the Aries. Maybe it has to do with some um, sudden uh, change in plans. Because that's typically, you know, what that is. is a delay. There's some sort of delay with... Um, you know, it could be work where you're stalled, it could be travel, it could be just like a stagnant release, it could be anything, so. Okay. So, Eight of Pentacles, Libra, is really good because it says, you know, you know, the, the fruits of my labor, really, Look, looking at my own success, looking at, um, you know what what I've done looking around at my harvest all the hard work I put in came in finally and I realized my hard work I can see the fruits of my labor at this point so when we look and see the knight of wands I'm trying to really put together who is this imp impulsive um kind of Playboy energy. Okay. They don't really see things through. So the way I look at this, you know, when I go back, when I go back to the Six of Cups, childhood memories, you know, just like having memories of the past, I'm trying to figure out if Libra is having memories of some old you know, because I do see cups, but I also see wands and pinnacles. Okay, what fell out? Strength. Strength reversed. Yeah. Libra, what's going on with strength reversed? I'm just... When you have strength reversed, that means you feel defeated about something. Libra, what are you defeated about? I really feel like the energy um, here in the, Eight of in the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, security. And I really feel like there's Knight of Cups, there's Knight of Pentacles, there's Knight of Wands. 
I'm not sure if Libra, you're in a fight to figure out who can I share this with. It seems like from what I'm gathering, maybe everybody you're coming across seems to have that um, that in and out type of I'm working hard or I'm busy. So busy for different reasons, right? Not just busy being a playboy. You know, I'm talking about somebody who's like established, you know, that type of busy. So I'm wondering if you feel like um, these energies here are just flirtatious energies that you don't feel like you're going to go anywhere, so they're really not worth the investment. But I do see you trying to figure out, you know, who can I share this with? I worked very hard, so you also want to be very selective. But remember, we also pulled um, strength reverse. You know, and with strength, I mean, we're talking about endurance from within, from within yourself, making everything happen. You have that strength, mental strength. I got to get up. I got to do this. I got to try and get this bread every day. Right. But when it's reversed, it feels like you feel defeated. All right. And the thing is, I know Libra does strive for balance. I know that they want their success, and I know they want somebody who's worthy to share it with. And if they don't deem um, any of these energies necessary, then they're not going to make that investment. And I, I, don't, I can't say I blame you, but there's no need to feel defeated, I don't think. But let's take a little bit of a look and see and if there's anything here. Could be a Leo, too, because that's the strength card. Okay, Libra, could you be dealing with a Leo? Okay, let's see. Any, what's this about? Okay. Page of Wands. Very smart. Genius thinking. Quick witted. Motivated. But it's reversed, so you're indecisive. So, are you trying to make a decision about these these night energies, Libra? Are you trying to make a decision about who's going to be the better of two evils? You know, one is in and out because he's a gigolo or a playboy, and then you have the other one who's I don't want to say in and out, but maybe in and out of town. <laughs> all right and again with that i mean because it has to do with money and finances that could uh be a, a virgo taurus capricorn okay more of a female energy so this person is very um so it looks like it to me it looks like you may have a decision to make and you just haven't made your decision yet so that's what i get so far what i'm going to do now is just pull a message card or two if needed um, I think, you know, we'll pull a second one if needed. Mm. Don't feel stunted, okay? You're a genius. There's just a little bit of a delay, and it's okay. Sorry, Libra. Okay. What messages or message can we give to, to Libra to sum up this reading? I just want to sum up this reading. is Libra going to share their abundance with? The first message, blue tit, find your voice and free your spirit. Okay. Maybe this card is suggestion um, that deep down inside, you know what is best, right? But you just you know how our Libras do. Just kind of take your time making a decision. No sense of urgency. They're going to walk around the corner, think about it for a minute, come back. It's a year later. But, you know, they're thinking about it. That's still an idea that's being entertained. Um, is there another message here? Because to me, I interpret this card as Libra needs to speak free your spirit instead of being bound up because you have pages in reverse come on Libra all right I'm 
see what else is going on. Give me one more card, Ancestors, please, to um, encourage Libra, clarify some things for Libra. I don't even know what this is. Rhino Sorrows Hornbill. <laughs> okay. Perfect trust will be rewarded with its like. Okay. Perfect trust will be rewarded with its like. Okay. There you go. One more. Bearded Vulture. Let outward deeds and words match inner feelings. Okay. So you know what? What I get out of that is if you want to be happy and have that genuine relationship, you need to make some genuine feelings. Don't appear to be okay with things on the outside and not um, have those same feelings on the inside because you're not manifesting what you want, Libra. You're not. Let your outward deeds match exactly. If you want love, you want to act like you want love. You want to be loving. You want to be tough and, and nasty and, you know, just very uh, abrasive. Like, you don't want to do that. You really just want to, um, you know, let love just take over you. Just let meditation take over you and live your life like that. You ever hear that saying, um, what is it, be the world you want to see or be the change you want to see? Like that. Because everything you put out in the universe, you get back. All right? You want that love, you put it out there. Everything needs to be on one accord. Everything needs to be balanced. You need to be balanced with meditation. You need to be balanced by taking a minute and just, like, being grateful for all that you have and just having that balance. Even when things aren't great, you're like, you know what? I thank you. Ah, my Libras. Libras, focus on making decisions, better decisions. You know, this reading obviously is not going to be for everybody, right? It's not. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but there is a lesson in it. You know, you just want to make these decisions and free your soul so that you're not bound up. Because everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Once you get over these hurdles, the other side is freedom. You know why? Because you already dealt with that obstacle. What's next? You know what I mean? And every time you get through an obstacle, you get stronger and stronger. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Kisses.